right. Okay, so uh, I, there's a couple of sound bites I want to play for you here, and they're from the Hall of Famer Steve Young. He was with us at the very end of yesterday's show, and I'm always cognizant of the fact that you have a life to lead. So I'm assuming something that happens towards the end of the second hour of the show, you may just as well not even know existed. Now, I'll remind you, we're a podcast. You can listen to the podcast every single day. They take each hour, make it a podcast. It's available everywhere. We're also on ESPN+. Plus. You can watch the show anytime you want. But in case you missed Steve, he was exceptionally good. And there were three things he said I wanted you to hear. The first was when I said you want to pay close attention if your quarterback is a rookie. I asked Steve, Hall of Fame quarterback, places like Jacksonville where Trevor Lawrence has just been handed the job, and the Jets, where Zach Wilson has just been handed the job. What are the things we are watching for through your eyes, through the eyes of a great quarterback? What are you watching for to see how that is going? Because clearly there will be ups and downs. Here's what Steve said. The thing is, is I don't think either one will hold back any kind of improvement that the Jaguars and the Jets are ready to make. That's a big statement because a lot of quarterbacks are not capable of staying out of the way. And they could be transformational quarterbacks like in five or six years, you go, oh my gosh, both of these guys are the best of their generation. And that's very possible. And it's exciting, I think. And, and there's many people, as you know, in the offseason that spent the time really researching scouts, especially coaches who had done the work and said, you know what, I'm not sure that I wouldn't take Zach over Trevor. That's not anything against Trevor. Mm-hmm. It's just saying something about Zach, I think, because Zach came out of nowhere one year. They tell him one year we're going to be BYU, but I think that's the player, transformational player that he can be. Okay, so now we're talking. And the Jet fan in me immediately, obviously, leaned a little closer to my speaker, and I hope that you did as well. That's Steve Young who, for my money, is as good talking quarterbacks as anyone I've ever heard, telling you that he thinks Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson both have the ability to become transformational players. And I remember back when, because he's a BYU guy, Steve Young, and, and of course so is Zach Wilson. Back around the time of the draft, the family seemed to really want Zach Wilson to go to San Francisco. And with Steve Young's connection in San Francisco, I remember him being kind of in the middle of that and the Jets said no way and I will admit there's a part of me that has been very worried about that all the way through I think Trey Lance has superstar quality written all over him Justin Fields I think is much more of a known commodity we have seen him do it on the biggest of stages I'm a huge Justin Fields fan Mac Jones, even Mac Jones, is more of a known commodity. There are the obvious limitations, but we have seen what he can do on the biggest of stages against the best of competition. Zach, to me, has always been the biggest wild card. I guess Trey Lance is a wild card as well, but but of the ones that I was really considering for the Jets at number two, Zach Wilson always felt very, and still does, as he is going through the inevitable ups and downs of the early training camp, it's always had me a tad worried. So, my question to you, Hembo, is how much better should I feel having heard Steve Young just say that? You should feel much better because the way that he described Zach Wilson, uh, his ceiling is such that if there's a 1 in 10 chance he becomes that, he's well worth the shot. Like That's the point. If you're taking a shot at a first-round quarterback, if there's a 10% chance that he can be the best player of his generation, you, you would take him 10 times. You would take him every single time you were given the opportunity. So I guess in that sense, he thinks he's that kind of good. I'd feel awfully good if I were you. Me too. Of all the things that I've heard anyone say since the New York Jets made it clear that Zach Wilson was going to be their choice, that is the one that has made me feel the best, with Steve Young saying that here yesterday. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.